Hey friends, I've been intrigued by the gravitational constant of 9.8 meters squared that appears in so many physics formulas, Newton's law of universal gravitation, and so many others that there's a cool science experiment you can do with a simple pendulum. You want to measure the length of the cord of the pendulum. The longer the better in terms of meters. So I've measured this right here to be 2.31 meters or 231 centimeters. And we're gonna be plugging that value in right there is the length. And then what you wanna do is pull that pendulum back parallel with the floor and start a stopwatch here and do it for 25 oscillations. That's back and forth to equal one full oscillation and time that on your stopwatch. 25 oscillations took 76 seconds. So you divide 76 by 25 in my case, and you get 3.04. And that's gonna be the time squared, which equals 9.2416 seconds squared. So what's going on with the formula is that we're putting the seconds squared, as far as time, into the length times pi squared times four. Very curious how pi appears in the uh, formula. Again, one oscillation would be pi as far as being parallel with the floor, but of course um, that degrades as the oscillations increase. That four is a curious number. Perhaps some of you who are good in physics or math could explain why that's in there in the um, gravitational constant formula. Um, regardless, for now, this is what we've got, and I've calculated this to 9.867 meters per second squared. Pretty cool, as that is the gravitational constant that Henry Cavendish um, identified in 1798. Of course, Isaac Newton, in his famous uh, works of 1687, Principia, um, alludes to the gravitational constant as well. But with a simple pendulum, you can discover this thing for yourself. That's our Earth's gravitational constant. Um, different celestial bodies will have different gravitational constant constants. But please post your comments below, and thanks for watching.